Andrew Wilson is an influencer known for being a tradcon paleo Christian and pushing the traditional conservative Christian agenda. He's talked on many podcasts and panels about what he believes in, and one of those things that keeps getting swept under the rug is his support of rape. He was called out for it on Twitter just a couple of months ago. One of his followers denied this claim, citing that the Twitter user got Andrew's argument wrong. However, when the original Twitter user clarified Andrew's comments, arguing that he did argue in support of raping a woman, Andrew agreed that he said it. He argues that there is moral justification to raping a woman, and states he would feel obligated to do it. But that's not the extent of what Andrew believes. In fact, Andrew has argued that women should be put into factories so that they could be raped on the regular, and does not understand why that would be wrong. And you consider that to be forced because there would have to be people around to enforce those laws? Then like yes. what? Like what? Like what? What? Like what incentives? For which thing? So I'm saying in this hypothetical, because you have crazy hypotheticals, 80% of women that are going to have, let's say we had some disease, whatever, that 80% of women who gave birth were now dying in childbirth. And so a lot of them didn't want to have kids because if they had kids, they would die, but their kids would be alive and they would continue to flourish in society. You're saying that that's good for society to do that because we're, we have to care about what's coming. Yeah. Next. In that particular How case, you enforce that? yeah. In that particular case, you would have a higher duty to make sure because uh, that hypothetical actually isn't realistic. But even if I engage with it in a realistic way, if I just say, okay, let's just grant it, you still in that case would have a higher duty to keep the human race perpetuated, even at the expense of women, because so now you have to you, deal with men and women. So what even under the do? prism, even under the prism of happiness, where you say, well, wait a second, all the women will be completely miserable then. It's like, yeah, but if you're, if this is all you have to go off of is that all the women will die the second that they give birth, they're necessarily going to give birth to men, which means your happiness index would still go up even under those metrics. How the happiness index would go up because there's people and like more people. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, because they wouldn't exist otherwise, right? Okay. Men, well, men so wouldn't exist question, otherwise. But you didn't answer my question. I did. In this hypothetical, how would you, so would you then force, because you said you wouldn't force, use brute force to force these women <laughs> to give birth. You said you would give them incentives. Well, no, if I'm engaging them? specifically in the absurdum of this hypothetical, I would say then that, yes, you would have a duty to actually use force and that that so would, would be you justified. Do? What would you do? I don't know, make breeding facilities probably. <laughs> Force the women in there and then, okay, this is great. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me why that would be immoral under your hypothetical that you just asked me, which is, if, you hang on, stop, more... stop. Let me finish. Can mm -hmm. you tell me why it would be immoral under the hypothetical you just posited for me, for me to put women in breeding camps and breed them? Because my moral philosophy, I have a bit, I, I believe in the no then harm. Then tell me why. Tell me why it's, it's immoral to immoral do that. Immoral to imprison, kidnap, rape, force women to give birth so that future generations can go on. Yeah, Your that's just restating the question. Can you tell me why it would be immoral for I you to do that? You, because I don't think it's moral to- yeah, That's just a restatement if you don't think it's moral. You cannot harm other people. You cannot harm living oh, people. Oh, you cannot don't harm. Don't, don't people have to be alive for them to be harmed? Yeah, the women that you're forcing yeah, into the camp are but alive. If there's, if by this metric of logic, I need you to understand that what you're doing is saying we're going to eradicate humanity so there will never be more people to be happy because happiness is your metric here, right? Which means you're actually creating more harm by not locking them in the breeding I pen. would say the absence of future happiness of future people is not as important as preventing suffering and harm to the people that are here by kidnapping them, raping them, and forcing them to have children and dying. I agree with that. I, I'm sorry. I just do. I don't so, think that the happiness of hypothetical people in the future or even hypothetical in the future future coming to existence, I don't think that outweighs kidnapping, raping, why? forcing women to have why children. Why not? Why would because it outweigh that? I, if it I created, if it creates, yeah, yeah, I know you put more weight, but you haven't told me why you put more weight. The people that are actually conscious yeah, right yeah, now, but I you're not, you're not listening. Those people, then be, are you, like, I, you are the, like. This is hilarious. You know, like, you're, you're, you're actually saying to me this. Here's what you're saying to me. You're saying future generations and their happiness don't matter, 
right? Not Comparatively, what Not matters what matters is what's going on currently. And if the actions that humans collectively take currently right now eradicate all of humanity, which then assures that there will never be people to be joyful or be happy, then one, happiness can't be your biggest metric. It's impossible because you would want there to be the most amount of living people who were happy regardless of circumstance. Two, can't be consequentialism. So what the fuck is it? What is the I'm, justification? I'm, that's what I'm telling you. It's So for instance, like when it comes to the environment, it's a scale. Like if it's not going to, but if it's not, if it's like, okay, let's make policy decisions so that we can keep our planet for future generations that are inevitably going to be here because people are reproducing. I guess you're saying they're not, but we are having children born every day. But that's different than saying that somebody <laughs> getting raped, murdered, all of this so that future generations can flourish i don't see even by your moral philosophy where in the bible you're just begging the question you're begging the question again you still have not answered you posited the hypothetical not me to me if and said and said what would you and said what would you do i say i would do x you say that's completely immoral but you haven't justified why I andrew believes that rape is justified in certain situations and not only that it's justified but that it's the moral thing to do